We talk a lot in this industry, and, and I know I do, about a plan B. And I like that. I think it's a rigorous way to frame who we are and what we're about. And yes, we lead with the product. Front and center and central to everything conversation we have comes back to great product that works. But as you, by invitation and by inclination based on the questions your prospect are asking, get into the economic or business conversation, my suggestion is this. Position it as plan B. In fact, use that term. That does a number of things. One, it takes the pressure off a little bit. If I'm sitting there, and you think I'm kidding, but I've seen this happen a number of times as I've been a fly on a wall or third party to a conversation. If you answer too strongly about this is the home run and you know blah, 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 cliche, 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 you turn people off because they weren't looking for a plan A. They're happy with their plan A. They've got one. But it wasn't quite delivering all that they wanted it to. There is some concern about retirement or future or upside or crazy boss or all the other things that happen in regards to a plan A, but they've got one. And so this economic or business conversation I find is fruitful if we present it as a, hey, understand you've got a plan A. Wonderful. Value it. Treasure it. Keep it. Be honorable in your performance in that regard. Perhaps you should consider this as a viable and wonderful plan B. Something that you can do as well as, not instead of. Something that allows you to keep doing what you're doing and paying the bills and lowering stress levels, but can begin to introduce a little bit of hope as to, hey, plan A is good, but I've got a good and growing and vibrant plan B that's going to help me get to where I need to go while plan A keeps me where I'm at in a satisfying, bills paid sort of way. And then I always end that plan B conversation, allaying their fears, I'm asking them to quit their job and jump full turkey into this thing, I always end it with this comment. Now keep in mind, one of the great attributes of a solid plan B is that it should be able to become your plan A when and if you want it to. This has that possibility. What you're doing there is you're piquing their interest. You're seeding the positive expectation that this can get them where they want to go, notwithstanding they have a satisfactory plan A right now. Do this over a reasonable period of time, follow our instructions, do what we do, do what we ask you to do, work with and for us, we work with and for you. And over time, if you want it to, when you're ready, this solid plan B can become a plan A because it has all the attributes necessary to become such. See how that conversation is so much more graceful, so much less apparently risky in the eyes of your prospect. Answers all the questions without being too in your face or implying too much risk of quit this and start that and hope it, fingers crossed, hope it all works. A very graceful transition from one to the other when and if they want it to. So position the business side, the economic side as a rock solid plan B. And I think you'll find much more success.